Touch Bistro is a mid-range hospitality EPOS. The software is designed for pubs, bars and restaurants, and these guys are one of the pioneers of the iPad POS system. And it's even good enough to be used in Gordon Ramsay's restaurant renovation show, 24 Hours to Hell and Back. But you can use either an Android or Apple device to view your live sales data remotely, as you would with any other cloud-based EPOS. If you don't have an iPad at the moment, but want to see Touch Bistro in action, keep on watching. I'm first going to explain how to get set up on Touch Bistro. Then I'm going to explore the front of house features. After that, we're going to set up our venue. Then we're going to create our menu. Then we're going to look at staff and permissions. And finally, we'll give Stork its verdict. If you're interested in setting up with a retail or hospitality EPOS, don't hesitate to give Storkit a call. We're a group of London-based experts who will use decades of industry experience to help you make the most out of your business. We'll sort your POS bundle from start to finish in a free phone call. We put in extra effort to review and rate dozens of EPOS systems and tailor recommendations based on your business. To get started, click the link in the description of this video to download the software. All you'll need is your name, business name and email address. You can then register for a 28 day, day free trial. Prices start at £49 per till per month, but the price will drop as you add more tills. Unlike some other EPOS systems, there's a 12 month minimum contract. Touch Bistro's biggest plus is perhaps their free 24-7 support via email or telephone. And you can also send screenshots to their support team directly from the app. Touch Bistro isn't just web-based, it works through your local computer network. So if you're using multiple iPads, you'll need a Mac mini computer to use it as a surfer. The locally installed network ensures that there's no disruption to your system if your internet connection goes down, which is a huge plus if your internet's often dodgy. Touch Bistro's EPOS is sold as a till, so you'll still need to hook it up to a card processor such as iZettel, Square and PayPal and pay the transaction fee administered by them. You can then connect your Payfac account to Touch Bistro under the admin settings in the Touch Bistro app. Your waiters will carry the iPad around and take orders and accept payments from the table, or you can attach them to stands and create kiosks. We'd advise all merchants to equip themselves with some tough iPad stands, such as the Heckler. This is what the home screen will look like when you first log into the app, and this is your venue's floor plan. Touch Bistro lets you view your menu in three different modes, image mode, text mode and list mode. Image mode is helpful if you need a visual cue. You can also navigate to the full menu or breakfast, lunch or dinner menu, which you can also curate. Let's say a family of four have walked into a restaurant, click on a table and then tap the number of the party size, which is four, before clicking add. You can optionally add a party name. To place an order for a guest, click on each guest's seat and any items now clicked from the menu will automatically be added to that person's bill and the prices will be totted up on the right. If the customer wants more than one of the same item, tap quantity. Click the item again to see a list of modifiers. You can edit the bill by clicking the pencil at the top, select the dish and click actions. You can delete, add discounts, move to other seats or another table. With the order confirmed, you can tap the send icon to send the order to the kitchen. And when this happens, Touch Bistro returns you to the floor plan by default. And under admin settings, you can disable this. Before cashing the customer out, there are a few last options that you may want to consider. Click on the grey bar at the top for a list of options. If you take restaurant orders from your bar, you may need to transfer an order to a table. If you want to identify the bill by name, tap rename party. This option is useful if you're a cafe and you pass the bill of a coffee order onto a barista. You can also transfer that order to takeout and delivery by clicking the option in the fast pay toolbar at the bottom of the screen. If they're paying by exact change, tap the icon in fast pay. In any case, you'll be prompted to add a tip amount. Tapping checkout takes you to a new screen where you have all the payment options. You can adjust the bill, add tips, discounts, complimentary items, or tax exclusion. 
Touch Bistro also enables bill splitting, which produces two separate receipts. You can print all to the receipt printer, keep a receipt for your own records, or there's an option to email the receipt to your customer. You can access your bill and transaction history by tapping admin in the top right. This is a very basic updated daily total of sales and taxes which you can narrow down by time. If you need to refund a customer, click on the receipt of each sale and tap full or partial refund. Here you can also get the standard daily product and payment specific reports and you can analyse things like staff performance, hourly heat map of sales, audits, employee shifts, menu item profit margins and up to 50 other types of reports which you can customise. The admin section essentially serves as the back office um, and it's always accessed inside the app through this button in the top right hand corner. The advantage of Touch Bistro over Nobly or Goodtill is its inbuilt table management, which has a load of complex features. Using Touch Bistro's drag and drop table management tools, you can create a floor plan that mimics your layout. So you can add walls and separate spaces. Before you start laying out your restaurant's floor plan, you might wish to create some sections. For example, you might have a dining room section, a bar area section, and a terrace section. You can use these sections to subdivide your main floor or other floors. And these sections are used to help track sales. You can add or remove seats at a table, move parties from one table to another, and transfer items from one seat or table to another. The system tracks how frequently tables turn over, which helps you evaluate the efficiency of your staff. To start selling, you'll need to set up your library of dishes first. So tap on the menu icon, I'm first going to create three menus for breakfast, lunch and dinner, which you can also schedule different times for. Go to menu categories to set up a category. I'm starting with the category sandwich here. What's useful about this section is that you can assign categories to different printers, so you can make sure that the right ticket, like hot food, is printed in the kitchen. I'm now going to go to add menu items. And this means I can create different items and register to send the orders to specific printers. You can set the price and cost and any notes. The ingredient based inventory system helps you track your raw ingredient inventory for items that you can't always count, as well as help you in costing those items. In Manage Ingredients, you can add, edit or delete ingredients to use for menu items, recipes. Press the plus icon to add your own. In Ingredient Inventory, you can keep a record of the amount in stock of a particular ingredient and update the numbers when you receive new stock. Press Purchase to update and enter the new quantity. Or alternatively, press Adjust to enter the true stock levels you have. This will help you understand how much you're losing through wastage. However, Touch Bistro doesn't include vendor management features, which would make it easier to keep track of your supplier information and reorder supplies. And it doesn't also allow you to add incoming inventory with a barcode scanner, so all the new items must be entered in manually. You also can't set up purchase orders. To create modifiers, go to Menu and tap Item Modifications. They have some common modifiers already set up, like allergies, but I want to set my own, so I'm going to create one for coffee syrups. I'm going to add a text item to my modifier group and click the toggle to make this a forced modifier. You would create a forced modifier to ensure that the order taker always asks the customer how he or she wants the item. The discount page lets you create preset discounts which a waiter might be able to apply to a meal. Tap on the menu tab and go to discounts. You can create a percentage or discrete discount, for example a £5 discount for a customer's birthday. And you can also limit this feature to certain staff. Speaking of staff, we're now going to look at how to manage your staff and then permissions. So we need to be in the admin department again. Go to the staff page. 
Before you create staff members, you need to create staff types. And these types are assigned certain security settings. For example, you can limit who can open the cash drawer or apply refunds. Tap staff to set up or edit who can use Touch Bistro and assign each staff member as access to different aspects of the app and mirror their table or section assignments. Let's add a new staff member, in this case, Sally. Press the plus button and fill in the details as necessary and just hit save. You can also set staff breaks. Touch Bistro loyalty requires a separate setup. Go to admin and scroll down to payment gateways and then digital wallet. So make sure you tap loyalty under digital wallet to enable it and you'll know it's on if there's a check mark. You can access your reporting data from any web browser at cloud.touchbistro.com or from Touch Bistro's Reports to Go app, which is available for both Apple and Android phones and tablets. From the app, you can also see your daily sales dashboard and dozens of reports, including the ones that we've mentioned earlier. So you can see the sales by day, menu item, category, section and order type, your gross margins by day, discounts and void summaries, labour summaries and shift details, low inventory totals, menu analysis, tax summaries and custom reports. All reports can be exported as CSV files or used in the accounting software Xero and QuickBooks via a Shogo integration. In addition, you can automatically email daily reports to key team members to keep them in the loop. Here's an example of a CSV file. In settings, you can also customise your restaurant details and address. You can also configure your printers and kitchen displays. And there's also the option to add a customer facing display. Our customer reviews on store kits say that Touch Bistro is great value for money and the sport team is reliable. See what's happening in your restaurant at a glance or drill down into your orders, sales figures and staff performance. It's well suited to medium and large enterprises. Though the monthly cost is the same, there are a few drawbacks in comparison to its main competitor, Lightspeed. Unlike Touch Bistro, Lightspeed has built-in customer relationship management and loyalty options. Another potential aesthetic flaw is that Lightspeed features a dark mode, while Touch Bistro favours a lighter palette. As ever, StoreKit's experts are available over the phone to guide you through setting up your perfect point of sale. <laughs>